The victim in this case didn't want to show her face on camera, but we caught up with her after the hearing outside the Juvenile Justice Center in Baltimore City. And one of the kids connected to this case has a history of run-ins with law enforcement. The surveillance video shows the moment Julie was attacked. I was walking home. It was November 1st at like 9, 930. Two juveniles, 12 and 14 years old, attacking Julie in her Butchers Hill neighborhood near Patterson Park. And I got slammed down and I got punched in the head. Keys, phone, stolen. They tried to steal my car, but I have a sick shift, so they couldn't. Take it. Her neighbor, Arch McCowan, heard Julie screams and ran outside. Tuesday, he testified in court. I mean, I think it went as, as it was as I expected it to go. The 12 year old pleading guilty. A judge determined the 14 year old was also guilty. We'll come back later for sentencing. But those details scarce because the juvenile court system. They're both going to be on probation, I think, and then hopefully get services, like mandatory, hopefully counseling, whatever they need to get them on the right track. You know, as a community, like, we just want to know, or is it just lip service? And, like, these kids get nothing in terms of consequences. They also get nothing in terms of supervision and services, and they're allowed to get back into the community and victimize people, which then is that, that's not doing us in the community as you know potential victims that's not doing us any favors it's also not doing the kid any favors we reached out to the department of juvenile services tuesday only to be told quote we cannot comment on specific cases because of juvenile confidentiality laws whatever happens to these two young offenders will remain a secret to the general population leaving the community left to wonder if the punishment will stick they're young enough that you know you could nip this in the bud right but are we going to nip it in the bud and and if that's what you're going to do is give them services is that going to happen or not are we going to play this game where they keep coming back and harming like actually harming people julie says her case was the first charge the 12 year old faced, despite fox 45 news previously reporting on a string of car thefts tied to the preteen last summer in 2023, Fox 45 News obtaining police records showing the young boy, 11 years old at the time, had been picked up by police more than 15 times for car theft and burglaries. Each time, the boy returned to his family. I think it's really sad that he's fallen to the cracks that many times. Not charged due to the juvenile justice laws. I always wonder if things could have been addressed with both of these juveniles earlier. Maybe this wouldn't have happened to me. Now the two young offenders will return in August for sentencing. This case specifically was one that we reported on extensively last year before lawmakers returned to Annapolis for the start of this year's legislative session. And it was during that session that lawmakers took a look at juvenile justice laws making some changes. And most of those changes begin November 1st. In the newsroom, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.